and more that. Well, it was North Island. Uh, okay. But notice, I'm a black man in New York, so my history is only black history. And it goes right back to Africa. But when I become hip hop, I'm not judged by my ethnicity. I'm judged by my character, mm -hmm. how I act, my consciousness. Skills. My skill, my, what Dr. King said, the content. I, my four children will live in a world where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Well, when you really live that for real, you step outside of time and space. Now, when you're hip hop, China is my history, literally. I could go right now to NYU Medical School, get my cheeks swiped, and they'll tell me my DNA ain't even black. They'll say, you Irish, Indian, Chinese, a little of this, that, you, any of us, we, we are not who we look like. DNA is some shit. <laughs> they just they just map the entire genome of the human body. The entire human gene of the DNA, what makes life. And did you know there's an immortal gene? This switched off in us, which is why we die? There's an immortal, there's a gene you can turn on and live forever. I mean imagine what 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 um you know DNA uh, what is it? Genetic engineering. Imagine what that's going to be in just 10 years. You know, like this. So I say this, I'm going off here some Here's my point. I'm not the physical anymore. I'm conscious. That's controversial. What do you mean, Chris? You're conscious. You're not black anymore? I'm black to you. But if you ask me who I am, I am hip hop. Now, that's controversial for a lot of people. They can't swallow it. Here's how it benefits me though. China is my real history. I'll give you maybe more, let me go even more in depth. Ronald Reagan was a DJ. I know that. Mm -hmm. wow. First job. That's yeah, Ronald Reagan was a DJ. Okay, this is this is where it was called super historical hip hop. Hip hop in the quantum world. In Newtonian physics, hip hop is black physical locations, geographical locations on Earth. That's your history. But when I adopt hip hop, I step into the quantum world. And then I can literally say, me and Ronald Reagan share the same paths. What's the, wow, what do you and Ronald Reagan have to do with each other? As a black man, I have nothing to do with it. He has a different lineage. But as hip hop, I unite with Ronald Reagan as a DJ, which was his second job. First job was a lifeguard, second job was a DJ. He played for WOC in Davenport, Iowa, 1934. His name, his DJ name was Dutch. <laughs> DJ Dutch. DJ Dutch. DJ Dutch. No, no question. And that's real history. Now, if our children knew, like you say, instead of saying, instead of going to a black kid and saying, you can be president because Barack Obama is president, you say, no, you can be president because you're a DJ. That's way different. Mm -hmm. No, your president, Ronald Reagan, started the way you're starting. What if you keep it moving? You think you might wind up over there? Could you imagine what that does to the thinking of a 15-year-old? You put him in direct contact with the presidency through DJ. Here's another example. Napoleon Bonaparte. Or Bonaparte. Napoleon was a graffiti writer. In fact, that's all he was. Graffiti, not even an artist. He was a writer. 
He was a graffiti writer. Napoleon bombed Egypt before they were bombed. We call tagged. <laughs> the only way we know that Napoleon was even in Egypt was because he tagged the, sarcoph the sarcophagus of the pharaoh. Of the pharaoh, he tagged it. He wrote on it. There's a book called Napoleon in Egypt by Paul Strath. And in the book, he actually has Napoleon's graffiti in the book. Little animals with his name next to it, little things like that. It's in the book. And it's called graffiti. I guess if this is his graffiti. Now imagine teaching a graffiti class. And we don't start with art or artists. Let's start with Napoleon over here. Let's start with the ruins of Pompeii. When they, Pompeii destroyed by a volcano, they cleared it away, the whole city had graffiti on it. The whole city, like things like, Mike was here. Um, <laughs> vote for this guy, don't vote for that guy. Yeah. Like stupid stuff on the wall. Okay, this is ancient. Now if you're stuck in your skin, so be it. There's no disrespect to that. There's no, if, you cannot disrespect a person that doesn't understand. If you don't understand, you just don't understand. If anything, you should have more patience. But if you do understand, then don't front. The, the time of decision is now. The Mayans say 2012 is the end of the whole shit. 2012, so did Nostradamus, so did Edgar Cayce. 2012 is a big year for a lot of people. But guess what I learned in my travels? A wise man once told me, if you ever want to escape Armageddon, read a different book. Read a different book. The gospel of hip hop opens up with the last days of others became the first days for us. Very controversial to say, but nonetheless the truth. We can no longer afford to align ourselves with groups that are not sure about their place with God. Christianity, and I always get dissed, because I always say, you know, I'm not dissing no Muslims, I'm not dissing no Christians, Jews, nobody. But I will speak truth, no doubt. And the truth is, these religions have played themselves straight up. And make sure you record that. <laughs> and they know they played themselves. You look at every major religion on the earth and tell me, are they really following God's laws? Really? Hindus, you open Hindu up, open the Bhagavad Gita up, open the Upanishads up. Ain't nobody in India following them. They more interested in online dating and shit. <laughs> India is so caught up in the online world they done took all the jobs out of America for them. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody thinking about the in Hinduism in India. Why? And hip hop has a huge audience in India. Is it not our responsibility to turn those young people back toward their tradition? The tradition of their parents, not just hip hop, but aren't you a Hindu? Yes. Well, why are we doing this, 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 and this? Oh, because I don't feel like it. Really? Really? Look at every religion on earth. And this is the part that nobody wants to talk about. And that's why I'm bringing it up to you guys, because I want to keep it really real with you. This is why the gospel exists. I'm really tired of fake religions, to be honest with you. Instead of complaining about them, why don't we write our own gospel? If we're all that, Write your own gospel and God will bless it if you all laugh. And like I said, the way God will bless it is our children will bless it. When we're 70.